Nick here. We are back for BMAC Podcast 57 today. Um, big idea tomorrow. we got a big guest coming tomorrow named John Skinner, who's going to be on our show tomorrow at 10 o'clock. We're going to talk about his life and his interests, and we're going to kind of we're going to kind of compare notes and talk about all kinds of great stuff. So looking forward to that tomorrow at 10 o'clock again. His name is John Skinner. He is a, a business owner. He owns his own carpet company. And he's also, like me, a big music fan. So we're going to talk about his, you know, early life and business. And we're going to talk about music, you know, the basic premise of tomorrow's show. But anyway, um, keep it short and sweet for today. But I wanted to say a couple quick things before we wrap up here. First thing foremost, I heard a thing on the radio today that may be interesting. I intrigued, actually. There's a new singer, I guess, now named Nadine. I guess she's got a new song coming out. I don't know nothing about her yet, but I'm very curious to hear her voice to see what she really sounds like. All I know is that her name is Nadine, and that's that's pretty cool. And I also heard some other news, too, that the Red Sox, I heard, heard – they hired a girl, which I think is really kind. Con- I think that's actually neat. I'm looking forward to seeing how she sounds when she talks. Hoping she has like a high pitched voice. That's what, that's what I'm hoping that, that she has. Um, and um, I wanted to discuss for a minute. I might have done this a long time ago on an episode previously, but I'm going to discuss it again. I've got a very weird taste in movies. Like, I like movies that didn't really do well at the box office. Like, there was a film that came out in 1984. It was called Ryan Stone. And the basic idea was uh, Dolly Parton's character had to turn a New York cab driver, Sylvester Stallone's character, into a country singer for her boss to get out of a contract. See, I don't understand. I think that movie was pretty awesome. You know, I, I met Dolly actually a few years ago, and I told her this. And she was really impressed with that. She was a wicked nice woman, a wicked nice girl. Doll, Dolly's the best. Country wise, she's the best. Um, and <laughs> it's just, I love the fact that if the movie doesn't do very well in the movie theaters or box office, it's good that it gets notoriety either way. You know, that's what I think. That it's really, you know, even if it's like good publicity, any publicity is good publicity, even bad publicity. I always like to say to people. So, um, and there's another movie that I like to watch now. Uh, a lot of people hate it. I know. I know you're going to hate it. But I enjoyed the, the, the corniness of it. It was a film done by Hanna-Barbera, a film company. It was called Kiss Attack of the Phantoms. And what that was, that was about a mad scientist who owned a theme park that was looking for Kiss. And it came in 1978. Look it up, guys, if you can, if you're interested in looking it up. It's called Kiss Attack of the Phantoms. It came in 1978. It was the solo albums or on the solo albums when all the guys released albums as kiss but you know each did their own albums in 78 just to give a bit of a break and i'll start this morning to the aerosmith <clears throat> this is some controversy um the drummer is suing because i heard i think it was steven tyler i guess joy broke his ankle and the drummer broke his ankle i guess recently and um, Stephen made a joke about Joey saying the reason why Joey can't perform with us is because he can't walk this way. <laughs> Get it? Same with the song, Walk This Way. Ha, 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 Corny, corny at its finest. But it's, it's, it's funny. It's funny. It's, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's. It's humor at its finest, okay? I'll just keep leave it at that. And also another thing, too, I want to mention, too. My podcast hero, Kirk Menahan, came out victorious yesterday because um, the mayor of Somerville, Joe Curtitone, had a lawsuit against him a couple years ago because he prank called 
the mayor of Somerville, pretending to be a Boston Globe journalist. And I'm glad that the judge withdrew that lawsuit saying, you know, you knew you were going to be recorded. You knew it was going to happen. So I'm so glad for podcast Jesus, Kirkman and himself, my podcast hero. I will say that day in and day out until I die. The, I said this before, I'll say it again. He's my podcast inspiration. Because he's, he's just, he's so corny and crazy. That's why I love the guy. You know, again, that's just my opinion on that all stuff. Um. But again, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, again, tomorrow will be a guest, John Skinner. Again, at 10 o'clock, he'll be coming on. Up from Hudson, New Hampshire, he'll be coming from. When we'll be talking to him, he'll be coming in to talk with us. Probably about 20, 25 minutes like for an hour. We'll see how we'll see how it goes, you know? 25 minutes, 15, 25 minutes. We'll see how it goes. And um, looking forward to that. So see you guys tomorrow at 10 o'clock.